Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Bruce Ellis, and this is the Insider Report. So sit back, relax, and let your ears do the walking as I fill you in on what's going on in the area this weekend and beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Well, Kat is waiting on an appliance, so she's doing the waiting game. So I was all alone again in here doing the show. So here we go. I was just telling the producer, it reminds me of the old days when he sat there and when I was doing this for the first few years before I had a great co-host like Kat. But she's going to be missed, and I'm going to do the best I can to rock this through like always and still have a voice when I'm done. But yeah, before we get going here, um, I hope everybody had a good weekend out there. Um, It was my grandson's ninth birthday party on Saturday, and woo we I'm going to tell you what, we had a bounce house, food, cornhole, you name it, we had it going on. It was for the kids and the adults. Everybody was set up good, prime time. We threw a great little party there. Junior had a blast, made out like a bandit with the presents, that's for sure. So everything was groovy there. That was good times. Good times were had, so... uh Naturally, Sunday was a recovery day, so because <laughs> we had some fun too, like I said. But yeah, it was great. His actual birthday is coming up. It's on Tuesday the fourteenth, but you know we wanted to celebrate on the weekend so everybody could uh, have some fun with him. So that was cool. But that's what we did this weekend, and yeah, and then just recovered and watched the races, and you know did my usual gig. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and get right into the show, so I'm not sitting here talking to myself for a while. Although doing a radio show, uh, that kind of is how it rolls. Hey, before we go, I'd like to thank the Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise known as the Castaways, Just the Jeweler, and Oregon Coast the VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows here at KCIW, all you gotta do is go to kciw.org, and you will be on your way. So let's get going. We got a really good music schedule here going on still at Oak Valley Casino in the Betty Green Event Center. Music is at 8 p.m. there. On the 18th, they got stand up comedy with Monica Nevy. And on the 25th, they got Midnight Revival. And then in the Warriors Bar and Grill, music's at 7. They have on the 18th and 19th, Jesse Mead. On the 24th and 25th, Hannah Paysinger. And on the 31st and June 1st, Jonathan Foster. The Italian guys will be at the Coon Tie on the 16th at 6 p.m. Black GTO will be at Checo Brewing Company on the 25th, 8 to 10. P.A. and T. Roy are playing on the 17th at Misty Mountain Brewing, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Troy's got himself a new guitar there, and it's looking pretty cool. Nice, cool blue. I like it. Hey, Mike Powell on the 17th, he's at Chet Grove Brewing Company. On the 18th, he's at the Wild Rivers Wine Festival going on at the Curry Fairgrounds in Gold Beach from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. And then on the 24th, you'll find him at the Brookings Elks Lodge, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Cisco's playing on the 18th at the Checo Grange, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. On the 25th, he'll be at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And on the 28th, you can find him at Checo Activity Center, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. The Inateca music starts there at 8. On the 17th, they got Cut It Like the Kings. On the 18th, they've got AMS. On the 24th, they've got Hippie Death Cult. On the 25th, it's the Shark Tones. And on the 31st, it's Homegrown. That's right. That's what's going on there. And then one last one here I got. Checo Brewing Company. Music is at 6. As I said, Mike Powell will be there on the 17th. On the 24th, they've got Sean T. On the 25th, they got Black GTO. And on the 31st, they got John Allen 3. So that is the music that I got right now. And if you're out there and you are a band or a musician or you have a place of business where you're a music venue and you want to get it on the air, hey, send me an email with the info to captaincurry541 at gmail.com and we'll get you hooked up real fast on the radio show. And hey, you might even make it into the insider if you get it to me on time. So there we go. All right, hey, at Checkco Library Schedule, they got weekly events. Tuesdays, 11 a.m., it's story time. Stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children. On Thursdays, it's a 2.45 chair yoga class. Fridays at 4 p.m., it's Hora del Quinto, stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children, all led in Spanish. Then they have some monthly special events coming up, too. On the 28th at 5.30 p.m., they got game night at the Checkco Brewing Company. This is an all-ages open game night featuring games from the Checkco Library's board game collection. 
Osted at Chateau Brewing on Railroad Street. Try a game from the library or bring one of your favorites. This is a free and fun opportunity to meet and connect with other board game enthusiasts in your community. Game night happens every second and fourth Tuesday of the month. And on the 16th, they've got 4.30 after-school craft activity. School-age kids and teens are invited to explore their creativity through doodle art. On the 23rd and 27th, it's the Azalea Festival book sale. You can join the friends of the Checo Library for this community tradition of fun, finds, and great deals on used books. The book sale runs on the following dates and times. On Thursday, it'll be 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. On Friday, it'll be 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And on Saturday, it'll be 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. On Sunday, they got a big bag sale going on, 12 p.m. to 3 p.m., $3 per bag. Please bring your own bags. On Monday, they got Honor Day, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Take what you want, pay what you can. On the 30th, they've got 4 p.m., the Lego Club. Lego builders of all ages are invited to an opening building session in the library's youth section. And then on May 15th, a whole bunch going on here at the library. On May 15th, they got 6 p.m., the SOC Pride Book Club, a monthly book club for young adults and adults geared towards books with LGBTQIA plus characters and topics. On May 16th, 5.30 p.m., they got the Pub Grub Book Club at Misty Mountain Brewing, a monthly book club for busy readers and fans of graphic novels hosted by Misty Mountain Brewing on Checo Avenue. On the 31st at 2 p.m., they got Roll for Reading Book Club, a new monthly book club for fans of the fantasy genre. And all library-led programs and events are free to attend, whether or not you have a library card. For more info, you can visit checolibrary.org, or you can follow them on Facebook, or you can call 541-469-7738 and get all your questions answered. There you go. Hey, the Brookings Harbor Community Helpers and Wild River Dance School presents Cartwheels for Canned Goods. This will be happening on the 18th from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. It's for ages 3 to 12. Learn to cartwheel. Just bring two shelf-stable food items to donate to Brookings Food Bank. For information, you can text 817-823-0684. And you can register at wildriversdance.com slash enroll. So there you go. It's going to be at the Brookings Food Bank. So there we go. Hey, now we got quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. So here are a few quotes from comedian actor Bob Hope, born May 29th, 1903. You know you're getting old when the birthday candles cost more than the cake. (laughs) He says, if you watch a game, it's fun. If you play it, it's recreation. If you work at it, it's golf. He says, a bank is a place that will lend you money if you can prove that you don't need it. (laughs) And last but not least, he says, you never get tired unless you stop and take time for it. Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Bob Hope with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. Oh, one of my great memories of Hollow Springs, because Bob and his wife had his big old home up on the hill. We delivered a nice sculpture there one Saturday to a party they were having. I mean, this place is huge. It looks like a big old round dome on top that opened up to the sky and everything. But when we got there to deliver the ice sculpture, Dolores Hope, his wife, uh, took us around for a tour of the whole place. And it was really cool, really neat. We always ran into Bob Hope. He was all over the place. I did security thing. He, he was a great guy. He was, he was pretty funny. So anyways, we got Wild Rivers Wine Festival at the event center on the beach. We talked about that earlier, and it's at 29392 Ellensburg Avenue in Gold Beach. It's happening on the 17th from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., and it's happening on the 18th, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. This two-day event features a variety of wines from regional wineries, plus beers and ciders. You can join them for food, live music, and vendors. That also includes a commemorative wine glass and two wine tickets. Tickets are $20 piece arrow, $25 at the door. Tickets and information available at the event center on the beach.com. So there you go. That's been going on for a few years now. Hey, the Checo Community Library is presenting Day of Carry in 2024. United Way of Southwestern Oregon is excited to announce their 2024 Day of Carry. Community volunteers helping local homeowners in need of assistance with basic yard work. This one-day annual event organizes local volunteers to help seniors, veterans, folks with disabilities, resource, foster families, and others in need of help with small yard work tasks. Volunteers will help mow lawns, clear weeds, stack firewood, plant flowers, slash vegetables, and help with other yard chores. This will be happening on Saturday, May 18th, 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. They meet at the Chetco Community Public Library, 
auxiliary parking lot for yard work assignments. Teams are invited to sign up for this group family-friendly community service event. Volunteers are assigned based on client requests. Volunteers will provide their own transportation and lawn care tools. For more information about volunteering or to inquire about client sign-ups, please visit www.unitedwayswo.org slash dayofcaring or you can call 541-267-5202 or email info at unitedwaywo.org. So please note that the request for yard work assistance will be prioritized based on need and volunteer availability. So there you go. So get out there and volunteer. Have some fun. Helping somebody out. A 32nd annual Rogue River Cleanup and Let's Pull Together is happening. There's another thing going on good for the community. This will be happening on the 18th, 8 p.m. to 2 p.m. Check in and clean up at Hog Creek County Park, 8 a.m. to noon. And then check out an after party is at Indian Mary County Park, noon to 2 p.m. There will be volunteer swag and prizes, info booths, lunch, snacks, and water provider, raffles, and music. To register and to get more info, you go to stream-smart.com. That will get you all up there. Yeah. Hog Creek County. I like that. <laughs> Very cool. Hey, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Well, good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's Bit of Weird History for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that in Russia, they're testing VR on cows? It's true. Now here's the story. A farm just outside of Moscow is testing virtual reality glasses on its cows. It says in an effort to increase the quantity and quality of the milk produced. The ministry rationalized it like this. Studies have shown that cows' environmental conditions can impact the milk produced, specifically improving its quality or increasing its quantity. So... A team of developers, with the help of veterinarian consultants for dairy production, made some oversized VR glasses for cows. They adapted the human versions to account for cows' different head shapes and eyesight, and then cow VR glasses are created. The cows are viewing with their view VR glasses a wild, expansive field beneath the summer sun. Basically, a cow's virtual paradise. So far, it's unclear if the glasses have helped milk production. Further study will be needed for that. but. A first test did reveal a decrease in anxiety and an increase in the emotional mood of the herd. Well, to be fair, if we were transported to a vast field in the summertime, our anxiety and emotional mood would be better too. <coughs> Hope you enjoyed this week's Bit of History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Okay, so I just read that and found that out myself. And I got to tell you, um, <laughs> you know, the way they got these animals cramped up and everything like that nowadays and in, in those dairy farms and, and everything, they're all just side by side. That is probably a good idea right there, as funky as it sounds. <laughs> it's still weird, but to me, it sounds like it makes some good sense. That's all I got to say. Okay, what we got coming up here is rent a space for garage sale Saturday. This is going to be happening in the Check Code Grange. On the 18th, 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. For more info or to reserve an outdoor space, you got to text Linda at 541-661-0059. Or to reserve an indoor space, you call Sharon at 541-469-3404. Now, don't be calling them in the other way because you just mess everybody up. So you just, <laughs> that's who you want to call and get a hold of. I love it. Hey, Brookings Harbor Garden Club is presenting Nauseatingly Noxious Weeds with Aaron Minster, Curry Weed Advisory Board coordinator. This will be at the Brookings Presbyterian Church at 540 Pacific Avenue. This will be on the 20th. Doors open 1030 a.m. The presentation is 11 a.m. to 1230 p.m. Learn how to control your weeds and the plants that don't promote them. There we go. Azalea Garden Senior Living at 755 Elk Drive is having an annual chalk art walk. This will be happening on the 24th through the 26th, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Azalea Garden Senior Living is excited to announce their first annual Chalk Art Walk. This event is open to everyone and admission is free. They will be providing chalk, so all you need to do is bring your creativity and imagination. Come and showcase your artistic skills and create something beautiful on their sidewalks. They encourage all ages to participate and they can't wait to see what everybody comes up with. There is going to be a winner too and the Grand Pies winner will be selected by Azalea Garden's residents on May 27th. 
all ages are invited to this fun-filled event. And another thing going on, oh yeah, Abigail's Events, located at 519 Checo Avenue, is having a floral float decorating pre-parade pre-party. This will be happening on the 24th, 3.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. You don't have to submit an entry into the Azalea Parade in order to participate this year. You can purchase a bundle of flowers and put your creativity to work. Their float would be suited up and ready for your artistic touch. On Saturday, when the float comes by, you can pat yourself on the back and admire your work in helping to decorate <laughs> their flower house. Danielle and Ohana will be performing from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m., so get ready to get your groove on. There we go. Good times happen. We're getting into the season, folks. There also will be an assortment of kebabs, hot dogs, salads, veggies, fruit and sides will be available for purchase. And they will also have complimentary popcorn. There will be beer, wine, lemonade, and soda available for purchase. There we go. But wait, there was more. Okay. Hey, Lucky 7 Casino is presenting Josh Grayson. He's having on the 24th at 8 p.m. Doors open at 7 p.m. You might know him from season two of American Idol or by his hits, Nothing to Lose, I Want to Live, and You're on Fire. Josh Grayson takes the stage Friday at Lucky 7 Casino and Hotels Tolowa Event Center. Tickets are online at www.eventbrite.com and on the day of the show. Must be 21 years or older to attend this event. Hey, it is coming up pretty soon, the end of this month. The 82nd Annual Azalea Festival on the 24th and 27th, featuring family events, food, the parade, shows, street market, concerts, and a dance party. You know, the usual stuff we do every year. For more info and full schedule, you can go to Azalea Festival Brookings, Oregon.com. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, going to be walking in the parade as a pirate. Go figure. Yeah. Hey, Curry County Cruisers is having their 30th annual car show at Zola's on the Water, 16330 Lower Harbor Road. The judge car show consists of the following, a meet and greet on the 25th at Zola's at 4 p.m. Then on the 26th, you've got registration, 7.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Judging from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And then the awards will be at 3 p.m. All proceeds go to charities and organizations in the Brickings Harbor area. For more information on this, you can call Lori at 530-739-9717. Hey, and the Manly Arts Center is having an Azalea Festival art show and sale. This will be going on the 25th, noon to 6, and on the 26th, it'll be noon to 5. They're going to have live music, kids' activities, art demos, special raffle, and a silent auction. Brookings Flying Cub is presenting the Airport Day. This is an annual scholarship fundraiser event at the Brookings Airport. This will be happening on the 26th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can get airplane and helicopter rides over Brookings. That's weather permitting, which is looking really good out there. So hopefully we'll have a really beautiful Azalea Festival this year. For more info on this, you can go to the brookingsflyingclub.org or you can call 541 412 5103. Take like an airplane or a helicopter ride over the water. How cool. Hey, Brookings Harbor uh, Garden Club is presenting a flower show and plant sale at the Brookings Botanical Garden on Highway 101 and North Bank. This will be happening on the 26th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on the 27th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's free admission and there will be raffle baskets involved. Here we go. The Wild Rivers Film Festival is presenting Art Thief, a pre-festival film screening. This will be happening on the 27th from 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. at the Redwood Theater. This is a special festival pre-screening of the crime thriller Art Thief at the Redwood Theater. A one-night-only event. Top off your Azalea Festival celebrations and Memorial Day weekend with a night at the movies. Funds raised through this Preseason event will go to support the Wild River Film Festival's first ever summer filmmaking workshop for area youth. About the film, after stealing a painting from a local museum, a passionate but untalented artist is thrust into the midst of an even bigger art theft. The story behind art theft was inspired by the real 1990 robbery of the Isabella Stewart Garner Museum in Boston, the world's largest property theft. This thriller starred Max Deacon and Jacqueline Emerson of The Hunger Games, screened on the opening night of the 2023 Orlando Film Festival, and would be playing soon at the Boston International Film Festival. Don't miss chance to uh, catch an early screening of this buzzworthy indie film. 
Tickets for this fundraiser are just $15. You can get tickets in advance in, in person at Forecastle Books, located at 553 Checo Avenue in Brookings, at Wright's Custom Framing, 810 Checo Avenue in Brookings. Tickets are also available online at wildriversfilmfestival.com. Any unsold tickets will be available for sale when the doors open on the night of the event. And uh, at the gym this morning, it just so happens, I ran into Amanda, and she said that Jacqueline Emerson is going to come on the Insider Report and talk to us on the 27th. So we'll have a little talk with her and all that good stuff, have her on the air. She just asked me this morning, I was like, well, heck yeah, bring it on. So that'll be fun to look forward to. So then you got to go see the movie, you know, so you can, you know, say, hey, I heard the person on the radio and saw the movie. <laughs> Anyways, that's a good thing. I love it when uh, stars come to the town. Hey, Lucky 7 Casino is presenting Mega Trivia. This is happening on the 31st, 7 p.m. in the Talawa Event Center. There is a buy-in per person, four rounds of 12 questions, raffle prizes, plus food and drink specials. The winning team splits the prize pool, plus $100 cash added to each round. First come, first serve, because they say there is limited seating available. Curry Public Library, located at 94341 3rd Street in Gold Beach, is presenting Memory Cafe Curry. Memory Cafe Curry will meet the third Wednesday of every month from 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. To register for the program, you can email them at memorycafe at cplib.net or call 541-247-7246. A Memory Cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss and their care partners. Care partners may include but are not limited to spouses, siblings, children, or friends, whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory cafes are designed to be casual, stress-free gathering to allow care partners the opportunity to relax and socialize with others in the same situation. Memory Cafe Care will be staffed by a qualified social service provider, library staff, and volunteers. Here we go, yeah, KCIW Soapbox Series. You want a chance to speak your mind? Well, we're going to give it to you here at KCIW. All you got to do is come down here on Wednesday from 2 to 3 and record. That's it. Wednesdays from 2 to 3, and you can get up there, and for a few minutes, you can sit there and tell what it's all about. But, of course, there are a few rules. There's no cussing, no slander, and no advertising. But other than that, you can share what's on your mind. And it doesn't have to be a negative thing. It can be a positive thing. It can be whatever. You talk about you walking your dog that morning. It don't matter and how much fun you had. Come on out here and let her out if you got something inside. Hey, then we got game night at the Whimsical Griffin. This is at 615 Checo Avenue, right by the Redwood Theater. Tuesdays and Fridays from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. We got Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and a whole bunch of board games. And then we got the Meals on Wheels, always looking for volunteers. Meals on Wheels are in need of volunteer drivers. They deliver about 75 hot meals daily to seniors that can't get to the Checo Activity Center for their daily meals saved, served there. They have a harbor route and a Brookings route. This is a perfect opportunity for anyone out there that wants to give back to the community and be a friendly face to deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to our local seniors. And whether you, we are interested in doing a day, a week, or a month, all volunteers are welcome and needed. Please contact Debbie Lutz at 714-423-9797. I mean, you think about it, 75 hot meals daily. Yeah, we need some volunteers so that everybody don't get burned out. And doing a good cause, that's going to be great. Yeah, so if you're out there and you're just hanging out and being cool, go deliver some meals. Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America, they're scouting for new troop members. Boys and girls are invited. Troop 32 and Troop 4032 are now accepting new scouts as well as adults interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from 5th grade to age 17. Adults are able to volunteer as long as they're over 21 years old and are able to pass a background check and willing to spend about an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course. They meet at Scout Hall 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. every Monday night, except on holidays. You can come meet the troops and learn more about what the Scouts are all about. Scout Hall is located at 414 Azalea Park Road in Brookings. Troop 32 Scoutmaster is Mark Hagelin. You call him 541-661-2749. And Troop 4032 is Scoutmaster Rebecca Wilson. You can call her at 707 951 3647. Very cool. That's great. And then 
Last time I saw them out there, I, I'm thinking some people are getting on board there because I look like I saw quite a few scouts out the last time they were doing something in the area here. Hey, the Fog and Fine Art Gallery, located in Wright's Custom Framing and Art Supply, located at 810 Checo Avenue. The gallery features 36 local artists and a variety of mediums and a classroom to inspire new and seasoned artists with workshops. Open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Monday through Friday, and then 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday. For more information on class offerings, painting demonstrations, and artists, you can call 541-469-7900, or you can visit them on Facebook at Wright's Custom Framing. Brookings MS Self-Help Support Group, conversation and support for people living with MS, multiple sclerosis, Join others living with MS to talk, share experiences of successful living and coping daily with MS. Share information and resources in a positive atmosphere. Topics will focus on areas of interest to the group members. This group is for people with MS, family, friends, and caregivers. Please reach out prior to attending with an email to AudreyMS18 at AOL.com. You can find them on Facebook, MS Walk and Rollers. And meetings will be the second Tuesday of the month at 11 a.m. at the Checo Community Library Annex Building. That's across the street from the library, located at 402 Alder Street in Brookings. Well, that's it. We are done. And before I go, I got to say something. And I apologize to all you mothers out there. We should have said last week, we should have gave a big uh, Happy Mother's Day to all you wonderful mothers out there, the ladies who bore us and uh, raised us and loved us thank you so much for all you did and uh, i'm better late than never i always say so i hope you all had a happy mother's day and enjoyed your families well it's time to close out this week's show before we go i'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer brother tom for all his great work making me look good and sound good on the radio want to thank you all for tuning into this week's insider report and please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to kciw 100.7 fm and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, by going to kciw.org, and while you're there, you can check out the live streaming as well. Until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis, signing off. Please support local businesses, and keep it real, and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll see you out there. Bam! Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.